Chance with Cindy. In today's video, I'll be making my 5D whitening soap, aka mulatto. This is a must watch for you. Learn how you can make your mulatto soap in your house and enjoy the whitening effect of this beautiful soap. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here. Let's make this video together. Okay guys, let me introduce to you the ingredients we need for our mulatto soap. Here I have my glutathione comprime soap. It contains hyaluronic acid and contains glutathione tablets. So I'll be using this soap and some of the ingredients in this soap are coconut oil, glutathione, glycerin, carboma, alpha methylonone, and a lot of other ingredients. It also contains collagen, niacinamide, vitamin C, and E. So this soap is a very beautiful whitening soap. And I'll be using two of it in this recipe. Also, I'll be using my Tojo John treatment soap. This soap is an anti-aging soap. It, it is also an anti-stretch mark soap. It contains AHA, AHA, vitamin E, and so many beautiful other ingredients. I'll be using two of these soaps for my mulatto soap. I'll also be using my Caro White Lightning Beauty Soap. It contains carrot oil, sodium hydroxide, glycerin, vitamin E, coconut oil, and palm oil. We all know that palm oil is hyperpigmentation and helps in smoothening of the skin and lightening of the skin as the case may be. I'll be using three of these soaps in my mix. Also, I'll be using my light and natural carotone. It is also a brightening soap. This soap is enriched with collagen and will help make your skin younger, make your skin lighter, and make you look irresistible. I'll be using two of these in my mulatto mix. Also, I'll be adding my Larissa soap. This is Larissa carrot. Larissa has carrots and papaya, but I'm using carrot because of the effects I want to get from my 5D whitening soap. I'll be using four of these in my mix. Don't forget to leave the recipe and the measurements in my description box. Also, I'll be using my yellow ozone soap. This is Ghana yellow ozone soap. I'll be using three of it. You can see how colorful the soaps are. This is my Tojojun. This is my Karotone. Here I have my Glutathione Comprime. And this is my Caro White Lightning Beauty Soap. And this is my Larissa Beautiful Soap. My children saw this and they thought <laughs> I was making salad. They were disappointed when they found out it was so. So guys, you will grate everything and put them in a container and add your soap activator. If you are not able to lay your hands on soap activator, you can get any whitening gel, whitening body wash and soak your soap with it, you will still get a very good result at the end. I will not 
be grating my white ash bones and the green ones because they are soft. I'll just break them and add to these ones before I soak. Larissa soap is actually not too strong, so it's easy to grate. Then I'll be grating my Ghana ozone soap. This soaps, we have the pink one, we have the yellow one, we have the blue one, and maybe other colors, but I prefer to use the yellow because it's very, very active. My bowl, you can see that this soap is plenty, so you can reduce the quantity if you want to make yours. But I have a lot of others, so I'm making plenty. I'm just uh, showing you guys how to make yours with this quantity. I have been on this soap for a long time now because there has been a lot of demand for this soap. So I'll be adding all the grated soap in this bowl. If you have a crock pot, you can use your crock pot to melt this soap for like 15 to 20 minutes. But for some reasons, I do not want to use it on this soap. Okay, I will be adding my Ghana box now. You can see how soft they are, but there is no need to put in them. You can see how soft. Sorry, I told you guys I'm using four packs of this. It's actually five packs of these green balls. It's the right one that I'm using four packs for. Okay, this is it. Everything is in here. So I'll be adding my soap activator and I'm using one liter of it. So I'm going to pour everything into this soap. You can see I am not going to add any water to this soap.
Good. So when you are done, you cover it up. And I'll see you guys in two days. That is 48 hours. Okay, guys. This is my mulatto soap. I've already pounded it and used my hand mixer to get this consistency. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it at the end. So I'll be adding my powders to this mix to get the final result. So here I have my sandalwood powder. I'll be adding three tablespoons full of my sandalwood. Then this is my Koji Deep Powder. And is a choice. This is my coloring. If you want to put, you add your color. If you don't want, you can leave it like that. But I usually like adding colors to my production. So I'll be using, you can use any oil to mix your color. For me, I'll be using my wheat gem oil to mix the color. an oil based coloring so you can use any oil to mix it so I'm using my wheat gem oil to mix it you guys know that wheat gem oil is an anti-reaction oil so that's why I'm actually using it for this mix so you can add to your soap and And mix. You can use your hand. To the final outcome of our mulatto soap. Oh my god. So yummy. Mm, I feel like eating it.